हेलो फ्रेंड्स सत्येंद्र हियर एंड इन दिस वीडियो लेट्स डिजाइन दिस सीट मेटल पार्ट इन क्रियो पैरामेट्रिक सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड सो इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो आई एक्सप्लेन अबाउट दीज फोर ऑप्शंस द सिमिलरिटीज द डिफरेंस एंड अबाउट द एप्लीकेशन नाउ इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन माय प्रीवियस वीडियो देन यू फर्स्ट वॉच दैट वीडियो टू अंडरस्टैंड दिस वीडियो बेटर द लिंक इज गिवन बिलो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन एरिया एंड राइट देयर ऑन द स्क्रीन जस्ट टैप द लिंक एंड वॉच द वीडियो नाउ वंस यू वॉच दैट वीडियो you will understand this video better now let's understand some more interesting application about these four options so in my previous video i used planar to create the first wall or the base wall but in this video i will use extrude to create my first wall now extrude can be used to add the material or to remove the material so let's start the first wall with extrude go to extrude select the top datum plane normal now i am creating this feature first which is nothing but this one so i'll go to circle i'll draw one circle now this dimension is 10 then i'll create one line which will start somewhere here just like this i will make these two lines equal this gap is 4 i will trim this through portion now one more line somewhere here and here make this two line equal trim unwanted portion now this gap is 8 this is 4 and from here till here it is 14 now i'll just say okay the thickness i will consider 0.25 this one is 5 i'll say okay now in my previous video i used planar to create the first wall now in this video i will use planar to create the secondary wall so i'll just go to this wall i'll say normal and here i will add this portion so i'll just start with line i will start from here i'll just draw one rough sketch like this now let's add one center line just like this dimension from this till this and this this is 20.5 this dimension is 14 this gap is 2 this is 4 this is 8.5 now the height from here till here it is 15 then from here to here it is 12 this is 14 that's it now you see I used planar to create additional wall. Now the same feature can be created using flat. You can go to the flat. You can select the edge. Here you can select flat. And then you can go to the sketch. And you can create the sketch. just like this and if you say okay you will get a similar profile like that so it can be created using planar or flat 
So if you go with flat, then you can add the angle or you can make it flat. But if you go with planar, then you cannot tilt this face. So in my case, planar is better. So I went for planar. So depending upon the future necessity, we can go either for planar or for flat. Now the next thing is I will just mirror this feature. I will select this. Go to editing, mirror, switch on the datum plane, select the proper datum plane and say OK. Now the next feature is this particular feature, which is nothing but this feature. And if you see this feature carefully, you will find that this is a multiple flange. So always go for flange if in case you have multiple flange. So I will go with this edge. Then I will go to shape, sketch and sketch. I will take reference. Now I will draw a circle. One line from here, something like this and then this. Now I will trim this portion. Now this portion is 1, this is 0.75, now this dimension is not required, I will go with the die of this, this is 5, say ok. Done, once again go for this feature. Editing, mirror, switch on your datum, select the proper datum and say OK. So the frame is done. Now if you go for flat pattern, you can see that you are getting a proper flat pattern. Now the next feature is the holes. So again I will use extrude. To remove the material, I will select this face, I will say normal. And I will draw the circle. I will draw one circle here, one circle here, and one circle somewhere here. I will just place one center line, and this circle I will just mirror it. The circle die is 1. Now the position. So go to dimension, select this hole and this hole. This dimension is 12 and half. From here till here, this is 17 and half. From here till here, this is 8. Now from here till here, it is 1. And from here till here, it is 11.5. And this value is 13. Now just say OK and OK. So here I used extrude to add the base wall or the first wall. I used extrude to remove the material. I used flange to create a flange. I used planar to create this planar wall. I can use flat also to create this planar wall. If in case this face may tilt through this edge. Now the last feature is the rounds. So go to engineering, round and start adding the round. The round value is 1. Press and hold control key and start selecting all the edges. One more round, which is somewhere here. This is 0.25. So now the whole part is done. 
and now if you go for flat pattern you can see the flat pattern so now your part is done so now in this video you understood about extrude planar flange and flat i explained about extrude to add the material and to remove the material you understood the difference between planar and flat while creating the secondary wall you understood about flat where you can easily add the flange angle 0 and i hope this video will be helpful